Right folks, in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to do some advanced charting. So you can see we've got a chart down here that's uh, it's kind of small but it uh, fits well with the rest of the uh, dashboard. So I'm going to show you how to recreate the um, this chart down here. So I'm going to just take a copy of it and drag it up to the free space we have up here. So control, left click, drag, let go of the left click and then underneath here I'm going to right click new sheet object, new chart, it's a line chart, click on next and the dimension is date, click next and the expression is the sum of the views so we're looking at the views of my YouTube videos for click view tutorials, click finish I'm just going to go into properties and go into layout I'm going to set the layout to the highest it can be which is 127 so it means it's, it's, it's over everything else so what we're trying to do in this video is to get this chart here to look like this chart over here I'm just going to go into properties and go to the layout give that some borders just so we can see so we're going to turn this into this so the first thing we do is go into properties and with the caption, we don't want to show the caption, so we can just drag it across. We click apply, you can see it's removed the caption. The next one, we're going to go all the way across the general page. Click uh, show title and chart, untick that, click apply. You can see some of the views has disappeared. Disappeared and um, presentation uh, uh, style, sorry. I'm going to choose style and um, it's the fourth one down here. Click apply. You can see it's starting to take some shape. Um, go into access and um, untick stagger labels. Tick on continuous. Click apply. So now it's starting to make even more sense. On the y axis, make it 100% transparent. And click OK. Font. We want to get rid of all fonts, so we're going to go into the color of the font, make it 100% transparent. Click OK. Click Apply. You can see the Y axis is now gone. Do the same with the X axis. Make it transparent. Click OK. Make the font and transparent. Click OK. Now you can see we have literally just left the, the chart itself. Um, we could at this stage go to layout and untick use borders, click deploy. But we need that because we want to make it smaller, so we're going to click. We're going to drag it and make it a little bit smaller, so we're going to try and make it the same size as this. Which, if I go into properties, um, 21487, so the width 214, the height 87. I'm going to the properties of this one in here, and the caption 214 and 87. And the properties. Now, in this one, we've daily views underneath, so we're going to have to uh, figure this one out, which is. I can remember it's yeah text and chart. I'm gonna add text and chart. I'm gonna say baby views. The font is Calibri and I believe it's twelve. The color is a calculated color, which is a variable that was already set. Click on variables, choose your variable, which is from a pink paste. Click OK. OK again, click apply. Oh, OK and OK and apply. That's fine. Um, then on the expression, if you add a background color for the expression, so we want to make the uh, chart more blue. There's actually a variable set for that, so we're going with the variables, and it's called green blue. So format green blue. Click paste. Click apply. As you can see you know, the color has changed. And then the final step is you press Control Shift and then just drag 
and then for both the properties um, they untick use borders click OK and then at that stage you should have a chart that looks like this one down here so that's pretty much it it's uh, advanced charting it's, it's literally just kind of cutting the chart into its bare bones so I hope that helps and I'll see you next video cheers